ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ A very good evening to all. So first let me introduce my team. The Magna Mandal, Bharat, Ghazal, Sandeep and me Raman. So we will start our topic uh, by just asking one question to all of you. How many of you have said in the interview that you are creative? How many of you think you are creative? Right. So this has more answers. But I wonder in the interview, uh, the interviewer never asked that when are you more creative? Because this is the main question to answer. When are the people more creative? No one is creative all the time. If you see, if you ask any painter to paint the painting at that particular time, he can't be paint at that particular time. He needs his space. Everyone has his preferences. So some people are creative when they are drunk. See this picture. So I believe that he is creative because he is drunk. I don't think so that he can make this picture when he is sober, right? So many people are drunk, uh, creative when they are drunk. Let's take the example of Drunken Master movie, where they created a drunken boxing move, which is very unique in its own way. So many people have its own way of creativity. Some people are creative when they are sad. Some people are creative when they are tired. Some people are creative when they have a lot of time. And some people are creative when they are around girls, right? So when they are around girls, their creativity reach at, I don't know, high level. So look at this example also. He is a creative person. He is the owner of Virgin Airlines. So here I want to ask one more question that uh, if you listen the word creativity, which companies, company pops into your mind? There is a one company which is more creative, most creative, innovative company in the world. It's Google, right? Why Google is the most creative company of the world? It's creative because it lets, it lets its employee be free. They do not put any restrictions on their employees, like to, be, to wear formal suits, to be adhere to sacros and timelines. And uh, they have the pleasure to work in at any place. They can work in any situation. They are not restricting them, uh, their employees to work according to them. They are letting them free. That's why it's the most creative company in the world. So let's take an example which we all can relate. So everyone remembers that class of managerial communication when we are sir said to write, introduce yourself, right? So what sir said it, let your ideas flow. Let your imaginations flow. So what we did was we went back to our room, sat across uh, the laptop, and we write, we carved our thoughts, we carved, carved our imaginations on Microsoft Word. I don't know like how many people have wrote more than 1500 words. Many people have even wrote around 2000, 2500 words. Then came the mail. So in the mail, there was a reference to be precise, to use some schema. And then we shorten our uh, introduce yourself uh, uh, assignment to from 2500 words to what 300 or 500 words what sir did actually was they did they did not limit our thoughts what he limit was our voice because that is what which will be conveyed to the people which will be conveyed to the audience so to elaborate further i would like to call bharat hi uh do we speak our mind? Really? Let's see. Uh, we think very free in our mind where we are not monitored by anyone. But how often we speak what we think? Not so often, right? So there is something happening which is hindering us to speak what we wrote on our mind. Can anyone of you say any factor which actually causing that hindrance? Anyone? Kasim? <laughs> right. The major factors which actually hinders us 
from speaking or editing what we wrote on our mind before it reaching audience is the fear of being judged or in some scenarios you don't want if you speak what's on your mind you the people might get offended you don't want to lose the relation with the person you are speaking we are we don't want to get in trouble like what happened today when someone wrote regarding the mc classes being over time uh and in general there will be you will come we'll come across people who speaks what they wrote on their mind without editing but in majority of the cases they get ridiculed by majority of the society you all of you are familiar with him steve jobs he is considered to be one of the creative genius of 21st century but if you come across any of his employees they'll term him as one of the rudest persons they met but he gave us products which changed the entire course of computer industry and the way we use products everything we call life around us this mic the laptop the mobiles we use everything came into existence because someone at some point of time spoke their mind out that we want this to be in a specific pattern and there might be a lot of ideas which died because the person is creative but he couldn't speak his mind this is a business perspective we are uh, interacting with someone we are not very close with will it should we restrict ourselves even in our personal relationships So I told Carl nobody no matter how famous their parents are nobody is allowed to climb on the dinosaur but of course this went right in one ear I love how he cares so much about stuff if I squint I can pretend he's Alan Alda <laughs> Oh good another dinosaur story <laughs> One of those going to become extinct <laughs> If I was a superhero who could fly and be invisible, that would be the best. <laughs> What does Rachel see in this guy? <laughs> I love Rachel. <laughs> I wish she was my wife. <laughs> da, 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 da. Who's singing? So in this video you came across different characters. We must have been in at least one of those characters in our lifetime. We don't speak our mind and we edit what we are thinking before saying because we value the relations. In this case Rachel and monica valued their relation with ross and they don't want to upset him when he's speaking about a topic which they absolutely don't have any idea of about coming to phoebe she did not speak what's going on in her head as she thought she might be made fun of for being very different so does it mean that to maintain our personal relations should we never speak what's going on in our mind or to sandeep thank you bharat uh, for uh, uh, telling us uh, when we restrict ourselves uh, when we restrict our ideas but uh, i think there are many of uh, times when we speak our minds out right and uh, one of those examples is when we are drunk right prashant <laughs> yeah not only prashant many of oh no this is uh, imk this is uh, prohibited prohibited in campus right so we are legal, uh, law abiding students of this country and we don't do not drink uh, but there are times when uh, other people in other campus drink and uh, this is what they do after drinking yeah they don't buffer about yeah. yeah thank 
Here's another one. I love you. 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 <laughs> Just in case you didn't already know, I'm always here for you. I'll always care for you. And then the next morning, sorry about last night, I was drunk. <laughs> So this is what happens uh, when you drunk text. Nobody has done that, right? Or have they? Yeah. So uh, this is well. Uh, this is one side of the story. This is the personal side of the story. But I would like to focus on uh, the professional side of the story, the corporate side, where uh, allegations, uh, controversies are created in market, and uh, the companies, the brand managers face them reg on a regular basis. But uh, they have this certain strategies uh, to. Uh, Confront it. So I'm sure you're all aware of what happened to Maggie, right? It was banned two years ago. And why was it banned? It contained uh, an uh, inappropriate amount of lead in it, in the masala packet. But uh, as a brand manager, uh, as the company, uh, they stood against, uh, uh, stood to their values. They brought all Maggie packets back to their go-down. And they burnt it, they destroyed it, and they let the uh, customers know that we care for you. And they made another set of products with new masala uh, packets, which did not contain uh, lead or which contained less amount of lead, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong. So this is, uh, I'll show you a video where uh, they uh, came up with uh, uh, advertising campaign to tackle the situation. Are Didi, you are in kitchen? Mein? हॉस्टल में फिर जाना गई हेलो सो एज वी आर लो ऑन टाइम आई विल जस्ट टेल यू दैट वी हैड मोर वीडियोज ऑफ मैगी बट देन एज अ ब्रांड मैनेजर एज दे स्टूड अगेंस्ट नॉट स्टूड अगेंस्ट दे केम अप विथ स्ट्रैटेजीज टू टैकल दिस सिचुएशन and moving on i like to pass on the mic to tamagna hello uh, so creativity right so like what can creativity achieve for you it can like get you fame it can also get you money so the next thing we are going to show why creativity gets you money so how many of you have seen the movie the big shot yeah quite a few hands over there so what basically what happens in the movie michael buddy bets against the housing market gets a lot of money then after the movie he becomes batman right so anyways jokes apart uh, so <laughs> so michael buddy needs uh, needed to be really creative to come up with the idea to short a market that everyone thinks was going to grow and grow so <laughs> the bankers who were basically behind the um, housing market crash they put in subprime mortgages into the uh, into those bonds and they didn't care about it only michael buddy was the one who saw it saw or threw it first and then he did it so i think i'm boring you with those, all this crap so like let's move on so how many can guess what this is <laughs> so uh, i think pro said uh, you can and my friend few of my friends can understand this is my facebook profile picture what is my facebook profile picture so like this was me like one thing i learned of uh, learned when i came over here was creating a public image so my public image was like this fun loving fun loving i used to ghost write for a uh, upcoming stand up comedian so i used to ha really have fun on facebook so after professor uh, anupam da said to me that uh, like this may got some problem and didn't, I, i didn't change so the awakening came after this so uh, this is basically a me uh, message between one of my college seniors and an alumni from this college so it's in bengali like it's in english but it's in bengali so the gist is companies stalk their prospective candidates on facebook so if this type of tomfoolery goes on there you won't get shortlisted so like you can't teach a new horse new tricks right so i like this was a wake up call for me i woke up now i'm trying to be sober i was drunk i am still in hangover so this is my new profile picture <laughs> now i would like to give it to ghazal uh, thank you tamangna for sharing your story with us the current education system has uh, killed creativity among all of us uh, 
the sheer sheer importance of facts and learning doesn't uh, empower doesn't uh, 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 okay i have before me three great personalities who changed the course of humanity mendel einstein michelangelo they were tagged as obsessed crazy by the society for their creative ideas and discoveries but they did not succumb to the criticism and continued in our presentation we have also focused on exercising caution while applying creativity just like there are two sides of a coin there can also be a positive and a negative outcome some of the greatest invention like the atom bomb proved to be a weapon of mass destruction so i want to know uh, why there is so much focus on creativity why do we need it in this 21st century you need to have a creativity to excel um, to be unique among 7 billion people steve jobs famously said that people who are crazy enough to change the world are the ones who do at la but uh, only creativity cannot make you successful in the longer run there need to be other elements and wisdom of understanding the limits of using it i would like to conclude my speech by quoting ernest hemingway who once said right drunk edit sober but later on his words were wrongly interpreted by the writers uh, what did he mean by right drunk he only meant a state of mind not the actual altered conscious and by edit sober he meant to copy edit with a critical eye thank you now we open for questions <laughs>